There we go. Now the screen works. <laughs> I am so sorry, you all, that I'm five minutes late today. I was, you can still hear them. The gardeners are still here. I was waiting for them to finish up in this area so it wasn't distracting for everyone. So I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> um, but today's class is all about the wet look. Um, I have a lot of stuff to cover with you all today. So I'm going to jump right into it as I wait for everyone to hop on. Um, and we'll get started with all of that. Let me get my water. I do have to do my disclosure. Hi, Morgan. <laughs> I have to drink a lot of water and I'm having hot flashes, you guys. I might have to take, no, I don't want you to see my grandma bra going on there. <laughs> we'll leave it on. If I have to get, if I get hot, I might have to take it off. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Tina. Hi, Maria. Hi, Melanie. I always do my disclaimer at the beginning of the class. I left my big canteen at a friend's house, so I've been reusing this bottle. I am not promoting using plastic. I reuse it many times over and over, and then I recycle it. This bottle is many weeks old. It's gotten much use. <laughs> Hi, Jenna Giggles. Hi, Alicia. The queen. How are you and baby girl? Yes, I'm doing good. And the Matrix Bundle will be in stock next week, you all. I got confirmation from the lab that they shipped it out, so the team on our end um, at my warehouse need time to assemble. And then it should be back in stock next week. Um, so we will let you guys know on that. So that will be the neutral palette will be back in stock. So hi, Sandy and Trish. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> okay, let me get a sip of water and we're going to get right into it. Hi, Monica from Wisconsin. Woohoo! Oh, bonjour, Aurelia. Are, 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 are I'm totally botching that name, but bonjour. <laughs> hmm. Hi, Jenna Giggles. How are you? <laughs> okay, we are going to do the wet look today. I have no um, foundation, no makeup on my skin. I want to get up nice and tight so you guys can see. I have forehead wrinkles that have come in since I've been pregnant. And then the other thing that I'm getting a lot is these. Um, I've had my freckles pop in since I've been pregnant. So I have all of these things to address today. So I want to show you guys how I'm going to cover all of that. So what you guys need to start this class, hi from Portugal, Annabella, you need an oil and a foundation and a pigment. So that's going to be our secret recipe and then something to mix it on. I know this sounds so cheesy. I was trying to find a really pretty dish. I'm using a coaster. <laughs> this mom's coaster. I wiped it down with some alcohol and I cleaned it really good. So it's super, super clean. I'm going to mix my foundation on that today. So any sort of dish, your foundation, I'm going to use, you guys know this is my favorite. I have two colors to see if I can get a perfect match because we are not going to do a full face today. I'm going to show you guys. Hi, Britt. Hi, Summer. I'm going to show you guys how to custom mix your foundation. And then we're going to show you how to do that wet look. It is really hot in here. And then you need an oil. So the other oil that I have is a rose hip seed oil. I really like this. I got this on Amazon. Make sure it's from a reputable seller. Or you can use a facial oil. This is the one I've been using a lot is the Elemis one. I love this brand. I'm not sponsored to talk about it, but it's one of my favorite skincare brands. I have a few favorites, which I'll do a video on later. So that's what we're going to do. And then for pigment, I have three options. Um, I'm going to use telepathic today, and I'll show you guys the colors of that. So if you have fair skin, I would grab this one. And it's, it's actually kind of a duochrome one because it reflects differently. So let me swatch that for you all. And I'm going to show you how to do this kind of wet concoction. So there's that color. If you have medium skin, I would do wildfire. It has a little bit of a pink to it. If that's too pink for you, I'll show you another option. So it looks like this. And it might be a little pink, but if you dilute it down, do you see how it reflects gold? That's wildfire. It's a duochrome as well. It changes colors. And then, I'm sorry, not wildfire. Yeah, wildfire. Firefly. <laughs> it's for deep skin. That's this one. Hi from Australia. Hi, Heather Sailor. Aw, <laughs> uh, thanks. Yeah, the baby's room turned out good. You guys know I did my reveal. I'm having a girl. What are the odds, right? 50-50. <laughs> of course I would have a girl. I own a makeup company. There is Firefly. So fair, medium, deep. I'm going to use this guy today. Okay, so what we're going to do is take your little mixing dish. Let me put my pigments here. Hi, Kim Jasper. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Tara. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take one part oil, one part foundation. So I'm going to take my Dermablend foundation. Now, if your foundation, I want to talk about viscosity today. 
Do you guys see how this is a dropper type foundation? Let me put it on the dish and show you what I mean about viscosity. So viscosity is how thin or thick a formula is. So I like very thin. This dropper never works. Of course it doesn't. There we go. Okay. Do you see that foundation, how thin it is? Like if I start to tip the dish, it's going to start sliding down. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it's a thin viscosity. When I go to spread it out, it's very liquidy, but look how pigmented it is. I know I put just a touch down. That's why I like this foundation a lot. If you have a thicker foundation, like a matte finish one, like what's my other one? I had to rip off the head of it because the pump stopped working. Like I love this one for a matte foundation, but it is very thick. So you have to add more oil. So just kind of gauge it. I'll show you the texture we're going to do. So we're going to take one part foundation, one part oil. And this is going to be our base for our foundation. So I'm going to take my little spatula and we're going to mix this. And let me show you guys. Do you see that consistency, how it really thinned it out? Now, if you have oily skin, I would skip this step. I I would just use your foundation straight or if you don't want the oil in there and you still want it to be thinned out a little bit you can take like um you know what you could do is take some setting spray you can mix it that in there or you could do some moisturizer I really like the lms um cream so you could take your moisturizer and mix it in the thing is is you want to thin it out and get that texture really thin so look how thin that formula is okay so under the eyes do you guys see my eye bags going on right there? I'm going to take a dome brush like this, and I'm going to, this is the It Cosmetics, what is this one? The Airbrush Concealer Brush. So see the dome shape on that one? It's kind of full. Look how big it is, but it's still going to get under my eyes. We're going to use this to apply the foundation. So I'm going to stipple it in here. I know this seems like a lot of work. It's because I'm blabbing so much. <laughs> But I swear when you do this in the morning, it's very quick and easy. <laughs> so look at that. Okay. I'm going to buff it in. Sorry, I got to look at my mirror too. But do you see how dewy that foundation is because of the oil? But if you guys um, have oily skin, don't put that oil in. But this is what's going to give me that kind of dewy look. Look at my skin. I'm going to do this side for you guys so you can see the difference. You don't have to use a ton of foundation. You don't need to slather it on. Our trend for this year is very, um, just very natural, very dewy, very soft. The key is when you do this, if you're not doing a full face of makeup, like a full mask, it has to match your skin color exactly. So I always really recommend that you guys get two color foundations that you can mix together. Like this one is obviously lighter than me. This one can be dark at times so I can custom mix them. So <laughs> would you ever bring back the Makeup Geek Times Kathleen Hype Lights Palette? I don't know. I'd have to ask Kathleen. Whoops, I wasn't going to do this side. Damn it. <laughs> I was going to show you guys one side. Let's take that off. <laughs> take it off. Okay. I'm going to do this side so you guys can see. Okay. Look how much that covered my eye bags. Do you see how dark it is on this side? Look at this side. Look at that. Look at that. And look how much little foundation I'm using. I'm using a little brush like this. You don't have to use big ass brushes. You really don't. And then I'll show you in a second how to get the extra coverage in here. So I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead. All of that. Just like that. Let me do my nose. Because my nose gets really red. <laughs> the foundation you use looks really pretty on the skin. Thanks, Stephanie. So this one is, I'm not sponsored by them. If anyone works at Dermablend, call me. I have bought so many bottles of your foundation, it's not even crazy. <laughs> I think this is my 10th bottle now. I'm working on foundations for Makeup Geek for next year, so stay tuned for that. We haven't done foundations up until now because honestly, it is one of the most expensive, most difficult things to formulate because you have to have so many colors. It's a massive project. Like It is a beast to do foundations. And I had one that I was working on years ago and then we had issues with it oxidizing. So I had to start over. So it's just, it's been, it's been a little crazy. It's been a little crazy. <laughs> okay. Do you guys see the difference between this side and this side? I didn't do a full mask. Look how dewy it is. It looks very fresh, very wet. 
So let me finish this slide and I'm gonna show you where to strategically put powder. We're not gonna put a ton of powder on. So let's finish up this side. Does putting the lids on it make it crease more? It can, but I'm gonna set it with powder in a second. So I put it up here because I have redness and stuff going on in my eyes. I don't know if you guys can see that. I always start my coverage in the center of the face because that's where most of my redness were, was. Did you see how I had kind of my age spots, my freckles? I have all of the um, darkness under here and such. Um, the oil that I used, um, I forget who asked for it, is the Elemis Pro Facial Oil. That's the one. So let me leave that up for you guys. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit down here just like that. Okay. Now, I don't want my whole face to look greasy. If you go out during the day and you wear this, um, it's going to look a little bit oily. I'm going to put a little bit on my chest, you guys. Let me scoot out back a little bit. Do you see I have some freckles and stuff down here? And then I have kind of some creasing on my neck here. So this is where I'll then switch to a bigger brush because I have a larger area to cover. So I just take a kind of dome brush like that. It is shedding like crazy summer <laughs> i can't wait for your brushes your eye brushes are good yes we will have brushes i'm actually going to sneak peek them for you guys so i'll show you them so look how much foundation i have left it's a ton right so take your brush you're going to stipple it in here i'm going to cover my chest just a little bit this is optional if you don't have sun damage down here like i did because i was stupid when i was a teenager and i sat in the sun <laughs> you can put foundation down here now i know i'm wearing white but I'm buffing it out so much that it's such a light layer. I'm not worried about it getting on my, my thing, my thing, my top. <laughs> Hi, Melissa. Could you do a video one day for women, women with rosacea? I can try to do that. We'll try to get that in the schedule. If you guys have ideas for videos that you want to see, things that you'd like to learn, put it in the comments so I can make sure to do that for you. Okay. There is our foundation. Okay, now let me show you. I still have, I'm a little picky. I still have a little bit in here that I want to cover. I've done this technique before, but I want to show you guys today just a little bit. This is going to take away from the wet look, wet look, wet look a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to use a matte foundation. We're just going to use a tiny bit now to keep the wet look and to keep that matte foundation from looking cakey you have to use a sponge and it has to be wet so I grabbed this one it looks dirty it's stained it's a little wet let's take a tissue <laughs> I just washed it I swear I did <laughs> okay hi from India what you finally made it hi Andy hugs and kisses to you too okay so I'm just going to kind of squeeze out the extra water do you see that and my sponge is still wet, but look, it's just very soft. It's very pliable. So I'm going to take my matte foundation from Boots number seven. I have to tap it out because the packaging broke on it. I was really irritated on that. I had to bust it open. Okay, so look at the foundation here. I'm going to take a sponge, pick up a little bit in the sponge. It kind of soaked in already because I don't want a lot. This color is a little bit lighter than what I normally do. So we're just going to put it like that. Do you see how it, my face still looks very fresh, very dewy? But me using this matte foundation here is going to put it around the spots where I get oily. So do you see that? It's mattified in here a little bit. It helps me to use less powder um, by still having foundation. It's not going to look too dry and that's what we want. Don't worry, I got you. We're still gonna do more of a wet look going on here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put a little oil on my lips. Woo, just like that. And this is gonna hydrate my lips while I finish my makeup. There we go. Okay, now for the lids, I'm going to apply a little bit of powder. So take that brush that we just used, take a tissue. I'm gonna really dry it off or the towel that I always keep on my lap. I always have a hand towel. So my makeup towels. <laughs> Finally made a live about time stuff, daddy. <laughs> Finley live, I love you. Beautiful love from Ireland. Give Ireland a hug for me. Okay, 
I'm going to take this brush and we're going to take, I have my matrix system, but I, I use this for everything. I use it for bronzing, blush, powder. This is my setting powder. I'm going to go in on with banana split. You can do so pale. I wouldn't do shimmer shimmer. We don't want to be shimmery under here. I'm just going to set the lids with this just so I have something there so that it doesn't crease. My eyelids don't get oily. Okay. Let me actually do a lighter color. Let's do so pale. When I use a powder to set on the eyes, I like doing a lighter powder because it's going to highlight under the eyes. Let me show you. Just like that. Okay. So that's our foundation routine. If, if I wasn't blabbing, I could do that in five minutes flat. Easy. Actually, probably shorter. <laughs> but I'm blabbing, so it's taking a little bit longer. Put just a little bit on the chin. Okay, now let's do the wet magic. It sounds very perverted, doesn't it? I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> supposed to be professional here. I'm not using any terms like that. <laughs> okay, remember that foundation, the lighter one I had earlier? Here's the color I used. Here's the lighter one. One part oil, one part um, foundation. So I'm gonna put this on my um, dropper tray here. My little tray I've got going on. Come on, dropper. The packaging on this is my only pet peeve. There we go. I don't need much. So there's my foundation. I'm going to take that oil again. We're going to put a drop of that in. So let's do one, two. Okay. Now comes the pigment. I'm going to take my little spatula that I mixed with earlier. This um. Paper towel has some rubbing alcohol because I want to disinfect as I go. I know this seems like a lot of process, you guys. I swear it's easy. I feel like when you're in a hurry in the morning, you're like, I don't want to mix it. I promise it's worth the extra 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, take your highlighter. I'm going to use a telepathic and you only need a bit. So one part foundation, one part oil, a quarter part powder. This is how much we want. You see that? If you add too much powder to it, it's going to make it really thick and cakey. I don't want that. I just want the shimmering from the pigment. And you can kind of look at it and see, okay, is that shimmery enough? Maybe not. Let me add a little bit more. So let me wipe this off. <laughs> I broke it. Broken. We need makeup at Yuli, Florida at the Target. We got to tell Target we want them in more stores. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more. Add a little bit at a time and let me swatch this for you on the back of my hand so you can see what's going on here so this is what we're going to turn into kind of a dewy kind of a dewy looking shimmer going on there okay so what i'm going to do is take that same brush that i did earlier we're going to pick up a little bit of this and I'm just going to put it on the tops of my cheekbone. Okay, give me a minute to blend that out. You can take your sponge. Do you see how it's bringing me the wet, but it's adding a little bit of shine on there? Do you see that? It's hard to pick up on camera sometimes, but I swear in person, it's like, it's very wet. <laughs> it's very wet looking. <laughs> Let's do it on the other side, same thing. So all it is is just adding oil, pigment, and foundation just to give you a little bit of color. If you don't want the color there, you don't want the lightness, you could just do oil and pigment, and that would work out just fine. So let me, don't come in too far, especially if you have older skin, because um, I don't want it to be shimmery in here because that could bring out the skin texture. If that happens, so let me show you. Do you see how it's, um, I need just still a little bit more coverage right here. Can you guys see that? So look at the skin. Do you see it reflecting? Um, you could take that same brush and then go in with your paper towel, wipe it off. You can go back in with the original foundation that I used earlier, a little bit darker one. And we're just going to put it in here. Just like that to cover it up. Keep everything wet. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's powder on here. Hi, Carrie Owens. <laughs> the Makeup Forever HD Reboost. I haven't tried that. I see you guys commenting on that. I'll have to give that one a try. I love that you guys give each other suggestions on here. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. 
there's the wet skin. Now, are you guys ready to take it one more step? Are you ready for this? <laughs> so now, if you want it to be even more shiny than what it is right now, if you want it to be really high impact shine, you can add lip gloss. So you just take a clear lip gloss, one that is not sticky at all. This is the uh, Boots number no. seven, the High Shine Lip Gloss. I heard the Elf one was really good too. I mean, really inexpensive. Hi, Liz Torres. Hi, Mona. What have I missed so far? Rude, you've missed a lot. You missed the whole face stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a little lip gloss right there. I'm gonna take a my middle finger. I don't know why it's it's bigger. I need more room to work with. <laughs> I'm going to just dab it on. Don't, um, is that a hair there? No, it's not. You have to be careful because it's going to pick up a little bit of the foundation. So really just a little bit, honestly. That's the only thing I don't like about using lip gloss is it can pick it up and it really has to be a non-sticky formula. But do you guys see the difference between this side? You see it reflecting? This side is still wet, but this one is like very shiny. <laughs> so let's make it even. I'm going to do this and do you see the texture right there? Just like that. And then if you want, you can, I don't want to put this directly on my lips if, I, if it's something that I'm going to use on my eyes. So what I'll do is I'll just scrape off a little bit on the back of my hand. And this is good protocol if you're doing this on other people as well. Just do it. That's really pretty. Just take it and then we'll put it on this way. Just take some of my finger and just like that. Love the cheek bow. Oh, thanks so much, Elizabeth. I mixed my eye cream with your concealer. That's a good one too. That's a good tip. I like that a lot. Just like that. Look how fresh and amazing that looks. Okay, now let's do a little bit of eyes if you guys want. We're gonna do just a very slight placement today. So our color combo for the week, um, the one that we've been featuring. So each week on the Makeup Geek um, social, we're trying to feature a different color story. So that way you guys can branch out, try different colors and things like that together. Look how much bigger my lips look. Woo, I got lip filler right there on camera. <laughs> That's why when everyone's like, you got lip filler, I'm like, no, it's the lip gloss. <laughs> it makes a huge look at that. It looks like I instantly got lip filler there. That's a crazy. <laughs> I'm going to dab it down just a little bit because that's pretty intense. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so our color combo for the week is Envy. This is the colors that are in this mini palette. This is $14.99. There's Grandstand, Honey Badger. Is this one Transform? Hold on. Yes, transform <laughs> and enchanted forest. So that's our color combo. We chose this one because of St. Patty's Day. How many of you are, I, I saw some people from Ireland. Now, do you guys in Ireland celebrate St. Patty's Day as big as us or is it way bigger? I wanna know, give me all the details. I need my Irish people on here. Give me the scoop. <laughs> I'm going to swatch them on my arm here. Ignore my dry skin. So that is the color combo we're working with. Let me do the matte ones a second time. This is dry skin, no primer. I'm gonna swatch these again. So that one, that's our color combo. I'm gonna use a little pop of green today and I'm gonna do a very strategic placement. So what I feel like the trends are right now, moving forward is not to have necessarily, you know how the trend for the last year was like the cut crease, super bright colors and everything. I feel like now it's going a little bit more simplified and it's very strategic color placement. So let me take a brush. Let me reset my lid just one more time just to make sure um, whenever you guys are doing bright colors of any sort, make sure you set your lid with a neutral or a light powder. It's going to help the color blend a bit. If you have any oil on your lid, the color can stick to it. It could be a little harder to blend. So put down a base powder down. Okay. Let me take some of the, the brushes. So these are ones that we're working on for Makeup Geek. Let me grab a good one. So that's hopefully what they're gonna look like. We're gonna change this. I don't like how rose gold handle that is. <laughs> we're gonna fix that, we're gonna fix it. Okay, so take a brush that's kind of like this, just a small dome brush and pick up the green color, the transform. So we're gonna do just a little bit of str strategic color placement. And I'm just going to do a little bit out here. 
just like that. And I want just a pop of color, but because my face is so dewy, I don't want um, I don't want a lot. I just want a little touch of color. Just something super soft and natural. I came down a little far here, so just take your brush, clean it up just like that. You see that? But isn't that pretty? Just a little pop of green. And as long as you blend it really well, I'm gonna go in with Honey Badger next. I always have a little bit of trouble with right here. Do you see how it's dented in right there? So it's hard for me to blend without the color hitting down below. So I always have to kind of clean it up. It's a big pain in the butt. <laughs> Let's do the other side. Patty in the house. <laughs> Beautiful and brown eyes, right? I love greens with brown eyes. I like greens and purples and teals and silvers. Silvers. Silver. <laughs> Cannot talk today. What is going on? Okay, do you see the strategic pop of green right there? That's it. Just a little wash of color. You guys can do this look from start to finish in maybe 15, 20 minutes flat. You're good to go. Okay. I want to blend out the green a little bit more. So then you can just take, um, switch to a little bit larger dome brush. So it's kind of the same, same thing, just a little bit larger. And let's go in with Honey Badger. Honey Badger is named after me. That's my family's nickname for me because I don't give a, you know, <laughs> sometimes. So they call me Honey Badger. My cousin Jessica actually started it. She's like, you're such a Honey Badger. You just don't care. I was like, I know. Okay, do you see how I'm softening it? Just out here with a little bit of Honey Badger. I know it's kind of light on the screen. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can see it in person. It just has a little bit of brown, just like that. And that's it. That's all you need. You don't need a ton. We don't have to do a full blended look. It's all about just strategic color placement. If you don't want the green on the lids, what you could do is take a small brush and put a little green under here. Let me go a little bit step further. I would say just stop here, put mascara on and call it a day. But if you want, you could take a little brush like this and you could put green under here. And that could be your pop of color. It's all about just being strategic about where you place color. So it feels very polished, very put together, but it's not over the top. It doesn't take a long time. Just like that. That's it, it's so easy. This is a great technique for those of you guys who are afraid of color and you think I can't wear it to work. You can if you just go light-handed and just put it in a strategic spot. Is this green pigmented enough for dark skin? Yes, it is. If my husband was brave enough to be on camera, I'd pull him in and swatch it for you. It's very bright. It actually looks really good on, on deep skin because of how pigmented and saturated it is. Do you see that? It looks really pretty on deep skin. So yes, it works for everyone. <laughs> the blue eye link is so exciting. <laughs> yes. Adrian, hi Adrian, nice to see you. Oh, Christy Glam's on too. Yay. <laughs> okay, look how pigmented it is. It is definitely insane on there. Okay, let's put some lashes on. If you guys don't feel comfortable with lashes, it's okay. I would do mascara. Let me show you what it looks like with mascara first, and then we'll put on lashes. I'm gonna use the Nicole ones today. These guys, because you see how they're a little bit more sparse, but they're still really full and very flirty. So let me show you what it looks like with just mascara. I'm going to use, hi Vicky, hi Jody. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little oily right here. Do you guys see that? Take your brush, that same one, and go in with your powder. I always have to powder here as I get oily. Okay, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And we're going to, I like putting it right at the base, swiggle, sweep. Just like that, I'll show you the difference. And I do a good two coats. If I'm just gonna wear mascara, this is what I do. Just like that. I used to have thicker lashes and I don't know what happened. They kind of, You know what happened? I wore lash extensions, it effed up my lashes. That's what happened. That's the moral of today, guys. <laughs> Be careful when you get lash extensions. Okay, let me put some on my lower lashes. Hey, Anastasia Aurora. <laughs> this is the look I'm going to do from St. Patty's. Heck yeah. 
I cannot believe it's March already. Isn't that insane? Okay. So we're going to do one more coat of the mascara so you guys can see. And then I'll do um, the lashes so you guys can see what it looks like with lashes. Okay. So that's, look how pretty that is. It's soft. It's wet. It's dewy. It's fresh. I didn't have to do anything. My brows are um, microbladed in, which I love because I don't have to fill them in if I do this type of look. Let's do this side and I'll try to answer more questions. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Lisa. Can you suggest a foundation and concealer for oily skin? I definitely can. As we get close to summer, I'll do that. I'll probably do that class depending on when the baby comes. If I can do that in May or June, I'll do that. Or if baby comes early, maybe I'll try to squeeze it in next month. <laughs> okay, do you guys see that right there? When is the matrix system coming back? We're hoping next week that it should be back in stock. So Adrian's asking, when are we getting mug foundations? Hopefully 2021, that is the plan. <laughs> it's a beast of a project, but we're gonna try. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so do you guys see I got a little speck of mascara up there? Happens all the time. Just take, I keep this little Q-tips on hand and we're just going to dot that right there. Okay, now for lashes. Uh, thanks so much, Patty. She says I'm glowing. <laughs> it's a technique, it's the wet technique. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my Nicole lashes. We're gonna peel these off. You guys know that I always trim them on the outer edge. I'm gonna cut off about right there, about that much. Cause I know my eyes and I know how long of a lash I can handle and it's usually I have to cut it that much off. Okay, let me place them on to make sure. Just like that. Yeah, I like that. So you guys can do it optional if you wanna just do mascara, if you wanna do lashes. Let me put the lashes on while we chat. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Uh, Lisa, yeah, I'm pregnant. I am 30 weeks now and I am due, they say May 12th is my due date, but, um, she's measuring to, I can't, I can say she now. You guys know how hard it was to not say she every time I did a live makeup class. I was like, little one, this baby. <laughs> now I'm like, okay, I can say she's a she. <laughs> she is running. She's a little big. Um, so they think that I'm two weeks further along. She's measuring two weeks ahead. So it could be end of April. I don't know. I'm going to put the glue down. We're going to set these down and we will do the other lash. So I'm going to prep these guys. Please do a tutorial on preventing creases under the eyes. So if you have creasing under the eyes, I really recommend um, doing light powder. That technique that I did, do you see how it's, I have problems with creasing too, but do you see how there's a little bit of powder but it's not so much to be cakey, but it's enough to set everything. So it's, um, it doesn't crease. I really recommend setting it with a loose powder. If you're still having creasing after that, it might be um, your foundation. You might be putting too much on. Try to go light with a foundation and that might help too. You could also put eye primer down underneath the eyes. Um, just be careful because that can make it look thick and cakey too. So it's kind of tricky. <laughs> Hi from Ireland. Woo, my Ireland babes are in here today. <laughs> Hi, Kath. Okay, so I've got the lash. I've got it trimmed. I'm doing the glue down. Hi, Jen Marie. Being pregnant is tough. I have two rainbow daughters. Had six lash it, loss, losses. That's really difficult. Well, I'm glad that you have two daughters. <laughs> I never know where the lash should be placed. Okay, so I'll show you. I'll show you my trick for the lashes. Let me know if you guys have more questions on lashes too as I put these bad boys on. The trick is once you get that glue down, do you see how it's wet? I'm going to let this set. I'm gonna put it down and I wish I could show you guys on the phone, but I just kind of tilt it up on a makeup brush that's sitting on my desk. Okay, so let me clean this up here. Did she confirm she was having a girl? Yes, Roberta, I'm having a girl. <laughs> Makeup keeps having a girl. It's so perfect. She already has makeup ready for her. <laughs> if she chooses, I'm not going to force her to wear, wear makeup. <laughs> uh, some of, add some of the foil color too. You want me to add the foil? I can do that. Grandstand is my all time favorite foil ever. I have hit pan on like five or six of these over the last couple years. 
It's so pretty. It looks good on every skin tone too. It looks good on deep skin. Looks good on fair skin. Isn't that gorgeous? If you want to apply that, let me grab a different brush. Let's put it, let's take a little tiny baby brush. A little baby brush. Yeah, lady. Lady's snoring today. Let's put it in here. Hold on. Put just a pop there. That's pretty. You can put a little in here too if you want. I just don't want to put too much because I want to keep the look very simple. Isn't that pretty? Hold on. I'm medium tones girl and I love uh, Grandstand, right? <laughs> okay. I know you can hear a lady, she's snoring. She follows me, both the dogs are right here. They're sleeping right next to me. They will not leave my side, especially since I've been pregnant. They're like, nope, we're going where you go. We go where the baby goes. Okay. Isn't that a nice, simple, clean, fresh look? Look at those cheeks, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's see if this lash is ready. <laughs> Do you think Lady will be a jealous sister? I Maybe. We're kind of worried about that. She was an only doggy for a good five years. Then Lexi came around. It took her a year to warm up to Lexi. And now they're BFFs. Mostly she gets annoyed by Lexi sometimes. But she's dealt with it. So we will see. I think Lexi's going to be the one that may be jealous because she's the baby now. And so I think she's going to be like, I thought the attention was all for me. <laughs> I'm going to take the lashes and we're going to bend it just like this. Okay, so for someone who was asking earlier about how to place the lashes, this is the trick. You're going to grab it right in the middle of the lash, right at the base. That's your key to getting these on correctly is hold it right, right there. Okay, you're going to come in right at the middle of the lash. So you're gonna line it up right there. For me, if I have to choose it going all, I don't like lashes coming all the way in. I like them being more on the outer corner so it doesn't close off the eye. So we're gonna put it right there, just like that. Take the edge of the lash, grab it and press it down. You can feel it, just takes a little practice. The part that I had the hardest part is the inner corner. It always wants to pop up on me. So what I do is I take my finger and I push it down or I flip my te te teasers, tweezers, we can't talk today. <laughs> take the tweezers and put push them down like that and then I let it set. Don't touch it, no touchy. We're gonna leave it so the glue can set. <laughs> what is that from? Is that Emperor's New Groove? No touchy, no touchy pacha. <laughs> okay. So put it down. I know, as I said, don't touch it, but I really want to make sure that bad boy's stuck on there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it. Let's do the other lash. Same thing. <laughs> oh, thanks so much, Marina. Whoa, girls, those are some fire lashes. What a difference it makes, right? So these ones are, what did I say? These are the Nicole ones. These guys right here. They are faux meek. No animals were harmed. Okay, take the lash. You see how I'm bending it? I'm doing a little, da, 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 doing a little dance. Da. Okay. Take them in the center right there. I'm going to come in at an angle so that way I can really get it close to that lash line. Place it down. Take the tweezers, grab the inner corner, put it down, outer corner, grab it, push it down. Take your finger, kind of push it down towards your lashes. I'm starting at the top here and I'm like, do you see what I'm doing there? If you feel like it's still, you're not sure, especially that inner corner is a beast to get it to stick down, turn it around and we're going to press it just into that lash line. Bam. <laughs> Yes, and that is pretty much it. That is our wet look right there. If you guys wanna do a wet look on the eyes, you could put a little gloss on the lid. I don't recommend it for daily wear just because um, it can get really sticky and uncomfortable and it can really make the lids crease. So I don't recommend it a ton. I would rather see you guys do like a shimmer, a foil shadow that gives the illusion of it being shiny. 
unwet versus it actually being wet like the cheeks here. We can pull it off here if you just stick in this area and not all over the face. Do you see how it just feels a little bit more natural? So that is our look. <laughs> all right, our next class for next week is all about eye shapes it's going to be an intense class so make sure you guys set aside time for it have a notebook handy re-watch it i'm going to go over the 10 different eye shapes hooded eyes um almond shape eyes downturn wide eyes close set eyes we're going to go over the 10 different eye shapes and i'm going to show you the actual makeup placement for each of those eye shapes to make it the most flattering for your specific shape it's going to be extremely detailed it's very much a master class all about eye shape. So that's going to be next Thursday at 11. So yay. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly, Christine. <laughs> Thanks, you guys so much for all your support. I love doing these classes. That is sticking right there. There we go. So hopefully that gives you guys some ideas of what to do for the wet look. Let me know how it turns out if you guys try it this week. Let me know next week what you thought, if you liked it or not. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. I will see you next Thursday at 11 a.m. Bye.